so now we've sorted this let's go and create this category table we already have a user table all right so let's go and create a category table so um to get that done we have to come here and um, press the up arrow key on my keyboard and create uh, one rule is that all your tables must be in plural if you've not noticed see categories all your tables must be in plural and uh, keep your eye here as you can see that's formed so the categories table is just like the roles table it just has a name uh, which is string oops string that's all we need in the categories table so um i think that's it for now now the next thing we will do we need to create a table to track who or uh, how many times each person has been nominated so if um mr trump was entered here as name and the first user that nominates mr trump has will have the user id here in the table but the next 10,000 users, we don't want to recreate this record. So we want to create another table that marks that 10,000 people have nominated Mr. Trump. Another thing we can add on this table is, this is not very smart. Uh, uh, not, it's smart, but not very um, official way to do that. Uh, just to save ourselves, because we might be expecting, if you're building a site like this, uh, like me, you might be building a site that you're expecting 10 million people to vote in. Um, you're trying to avoid a scenario where um, your site crashes due to heavy load. So um, we want to keep track of how many people that have voted here. Uh, um, I'm just going to call it no of nominations. So if the number of the total number of nominations, for instance, is 33 and another person nominates this guy, we're just going to make this number 34. The reason we're adding, saving it on this table directly is that when we want to retrieve, we don't want to take, uh, start going to query another table and count. We don't want to do that. So when we're saving it, we want to quickly just save it here. Then another thing is that remember that after nominations, admin is going to select top two or top three people in that category to be voted for so we want to keep track and be sure that um, we can uh, mark whether admin has selected them is um, admin selected I think this is it a uh, boolean just to be sure of the integer type I'm going to have to go and search for it here um, I think if we go to like I told you always make reference to your larvae documentation it will save you a lot so I'm in larvae documentation migrations and I'm looking for boolean okay yeah boolean is correct so boolean can either be one or zero so is admin selected if it is one means that admin has selected this guy if it is two it means that this guy has one if it is zero uh, it means that um, the admin has not selected this guy so we're gonna have to keep it at zero for a default. Default zero. So when it is one, it means admin has selected this person. All right. Another funny thing we want to do, or smart thing we want to do, is we want to keep track to know whether this person has won. Is uh, is one. Okay. So um, no. So by default, nobody has won the election in that category. But soon as the person wins, that admin marks that this guy has won. What you will see is that um, this will change to one. All right. So thank you uh, very much for watching this video. In the next video, we're gonna fix the second table that we were talking about earlier.